Carnosaurs were the dominant theropod group in the Jurassic and large parts of the Cretaceous, but even they had to come to an end. There is one mysterious potential Carnosaur in North America that expanded the rain in the late Cretaceous. It might be the closest thing to a real life Indominus Rex. It was the last giant butcher of North America. See it, the man-eating monster. Seat's Macarorum was first described in 2014 by Sanu and Makowitzki. The generic name is derived from the name of Seat, a man-eating monster in the Ute mythology. Even though Seat is very fragmentary, paleontologists still concluded a size of 3.9 metric tons. However, the authors also wrote that the holotype specimen was already the size despite the visible neurocentral sutures showing absence of ossification, suggesting this was an immature individual. Seatz is known from paleo documentaries, namely T-Rex and Evolutionary Journey from 2016. Taxonomically, Seatz is a mess, as it may be a neovenatorid allosauroid or as a lurosaur of uncertain phylogenetic position, for example a Megaraptoran or a Tyrannosauroid. Since Seatz could be a neovenatorid or Megaraptoran, we would imagine it having giant claws. If we body length scale from the Allosaurus orophagan X and the Megaraptoran Megaraptor, we get a claw length of 24 to 39 centimeters or 9.5 to 15.4 inches. As always, take these estimates with a grain of salt, since Snacks and Megaraptor had exceptionally long claws and body length scaling is by no means accurate. But also note that the keratin sheets and theropod claws normally don't preserve well, meaning that the claws could be even bigger in life. One thing is certain, Seats would have demolished small prey with its sharp teeth and claws, either weakening it with one bite and going in for the kill or restraining the unefficient or juvenile sauropod for example with its claws and skull to the point where it's over quite fast. For bigger animals, namely sauropods, with Seats being potentially a carnosaur, flesh grazing seems to be highly likely. Flesh grazing is a hunting tactic where the Seats would actively chunk out big pieces of the sauropod's flesh without having to kill the animal itself. Snacking on sauropods is still one of the most prominent hunting strategies out there for carnosaurs. Since Neovenator Shilantisaurus and Seats look so similar and since Seats could be a carnosaur, we'll go with this cladogram for this video, showing Seats with a Neovenatorids, a Cacarodontosaurian or Solurosaurian subgroup of big theropods with sharp serrated teeth and large claws on their hands and a long deep skull. If Seats is a new venator, it would be second in size within the group behind Gilantisaurus. However, due to a holotype specimen not being a full adult, it might outsize Gilantisaurus. Who knows? If it was a Carcharodontosaurian neovenatorid, or a Carnosaur for that matter, it would have extended the reign over North America by a whopping 15 million years. I'm different. I am the one that can see John Cena. As Seats lived 94.6 million years ago, it was potentially the last man or carnosaur standing in North America. Anyway, Seats was home to the Cedar Mountain Formation of Utah, which is best known for Utahraptor, Deinonychus and Acrocamphosaurus. None of these would have lived alongside it though, as the CMD contains fossils from 140 to 94 million years ago. Seats is at that very end of the formation's timeline. Other animals of the Cenomanian part of the Cedar Mountain Formation would have been the Crocodiliform, the Codosuchus, the Snake, Coniophis, the amphibian Albernapeton, the lungfish Ceratodus, cartilaginous fish such as Hypodus, and mammals such as the Jugulator. Dinosaurs include the small Tyrannosaurid Moros, the Ankylosaurus Animantor, Cedapelta, Pyloroplites, and the Neonificians Eolambia, Fauna, and Yeni. Seats would have been the end boss in the Cedar Mountain Formation, especially chronologically, as it is not only one of the largest terrestrial predators North America had ever seen, but also potentially the last giant carnosaur of the region and the formation, indicating a shift in the power dynamic. And we all know what happened after Seats died out. It was time for the rise of the Tyrannosaurus. I 
I would argue that was an even better meme than the first one, wasn't it? Anyways, that's it for the video for this potentially the last Carnosaur in North America. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like and subscribe button so we can bring out more such videos. You can also check out the Dinosaur Profiles playlist for more videos on single dinosaurs, as well as Twitter and Instagram, links in the description. And with that, I wish you a splendid day or evening. Goodbye.